You'll often notice when dealing with or around narcissistic people, they go all out to ruin special occasions, any form of celebration. However, they do it in the manner where you become emotionally reactive and they act all innocent, like they've not done anything wrong. They lay all the blame at your door. They gaslight by setting the environment and then provoking an emotional reaction from you so that they can blame everything on you. Narcissistic people ruining special occasions is not the same as people just having the holiday blues or they lost a loved one around a certain time of year, so they need time to gather their thoughts. Those people don't go all out to manipulate people to ruin it for other people. Narcissistic people go all out to manipulate people and ruin it for other people. When it comes to special occasions, holidays, celebrations, it's a time to celebrate each other's success or happiness. It's a time to come together and be thankful for each other and share those precious memories. Things that narcissistic people don't want to do because they're incredibly envious people. So they're envious of your achievements. They're envious of your success. They're envious of your happiness. And to feel better about themselves, they go all out to ruin it for you. However, they don't just sabotage it and ruin it for you. They go all out to ruin it for you in a format where it looks like you've ruined it for yourself and they were just trying to help you. Narcissistic people feel envious of other people getting all the attention and praise and recognition and they feel entitled to have that all on themselves. So if by sulking they get some form of attention, they will go all out to sulk to get the attention back on themselves and they will play on past pains to get that attention because they like the empathy to care for those around them. Genuine people, even if they have a past pain around a certain time of year, do not want to bring everybody else crashing down. Narcissistic people do. Narcissistic people ruin special occasions to gain that sympathy. So they'll start sulking or playing the victim over a past pain to gain that sympathetic attention, to avoid taking responsibility for their behaviour. They'll use a special occasion to hoover somebody back into their games. They'll come along with those false promises of change and extravagant gifts and They'll come along to play nice around a special occasion because it pulls on your heartstrings and it's easier for them to worm their ways back in. Narcissistic people use special occasions to create drama, create conflicts. They'll create conflict between their own children on a special occasion. They'll use a special occasion to create absolute chaos and then stand back and watch the show. They use special occasions to exclude people, to punish people. They use them to devalue people. They use them to raise people's expectations and then lower people's standards. They use gifts as a method of manipulation. When it comes to a narcissistic person, when it comes to a special occasion, they might dry beg, they might hint at what they want, and then when you get it for them, you got them the wrong make, you got them the wrong model. They will go all out to buy you something that they want, and then when you're like, well, this isn't really for me, they accuse you of not being appreciative of them because they're wanting that special attention. They will go all out to love bomb you, to give you that false hope, to get you to romanticise about how future events will be with them, to give you a strong desire to connect and also treat them in the same manner they're treating you in the love bombing. And then they'll slowly take it away from you. Not only do they take it away from you, they find a way to blame you as to why they took it away. They devalue you on special occasions so that you question and doubt yourself. They will go all out to discard you on a special occasion and they'll be out there love bombing somebody new to try and provoke, create that competition, try and provoke that jealousy within you so the narcissist can stand there and go, oh, they're just jealous of me and they're enjoying triangulating two people and getting that attention. When it comes to narcissistic people, they will go all out to provoke you on a special occasion to bait you, to goad you, to get that emotional reaction from you. So they can say, well, why would I want to go with you in the state you're in? They'll go all out to shame you. 
they'll go out, go all out to say, oh, I thought you'd make a bit more of an effort than that. I'm only trying to help. I'm only trying to be supportive. But they're looking to lower your mood to better their own. They can go all out to turn up late to make you anxious, make you worried, or they can be a no-show so that you wonder if they're okay and start chasing after them. They literally look to chip away at you to set the environment. And one way they will gaslight and set the environment is when it's one of their family's special occasions. They'll go out all out to say how they would really like to go. However, you're the one that doesn't want to go. So their family and their friends look negatively on you when it's a narcissist who didn't want to go. When it comes to special occasions and being around a narcissist, you have to take a step back. Don't take it personally. Try not to involve them. Set safe boundaries. Do not isolate yourself and slowly distance yourself away from them so that you can start enjoying those special occasions again. 